Okay, now I'm going to go over the heart. Um, this heart is intact, meaning it is not opened like the picture in your lab is, you know, open. The front is removed. So this is the back side of the heart and this is the front side of the heart. And you can see the coronary arteries, which are red, and coronary veins, which are blue. So blood comes, actually these are branches off of the aorta. This is the aorta. So you can't see because the model is covering it up, but the uh, coronary arteries come out of the aorta. <clears throat> so blood goes down into the myocardium and the blood turns from red to blue and blood comes back um, through coronary veins and all of the coronary veins empty into the right atrium eventually. <clears throat> so now I'm going to take it apart so that it looks like what you see in lab and I'm first going to give you a three-dimensional view. In fact, I'm going to take it off the stand because <clears throat> I think I can hold it better. So um, this is the back, which you don't have a view of this in your lab, but I did want you to see it. So we have four chambers inside the heart, and I'm going to follow the path of blood through the heart. So the four chambers are the right atrium and then right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, and remember, it's their right and their left, not yours. <clears throat> the septum divides the right side of the heart from the left side of the heart. So blood comes into the superior vena cava, drained from all of the different parts of the body above the heart. And then the inferior vena cava on this model has been cut. So there's just like a blue ring to hint at the inferior vena cava, but it's there and you can see, I'm gonna put my finger in it, that it empties into the right atrium. And then here you can see what's supposed to be blood in the superior vena cava emptying into the right atrium. So this is the right atrium, right? And then the valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle, in other words, the right atrioventricular valve, is called the um, tricuspid valve. <clears throat> so now we're in the right ventricle and notice that there are these cords reinforcing the tricuspid valve and those are called chordae tendinia. Blood leaves the right ventricle and goes into the pulmonary trunk. The valve that is guarding the entrance of the pulmonary trunk is called the pulmonary valve, right here. The pulmonary trunk then branches into left and right pulmonary arteries. And the blood is blue so far because it has already been out in the body tissues and lost its oxygen and gained carbon dioxide. But now blood is in the lungs and it's going to turn red. <clears throat> it's going to return to the heart through these two and these two pulmonary veins, which empty into this big chamber here. My thumb is covering it. This is the left atrium. And if you turn it around, you can see the left atrium here um, is, you know, a chamber, a cavity. The left atrioventricular valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle is the bicuspid or mitral valve. So now we are also with chordae tendinia. Now we are in the left ventricle. Blood leaves the left ventricle and, and goes into the aorta. And there's the valve, the aortic valve, which you can't see in your lab because of the angle of the picture. Your picture's here and you have to turn it to see the aortic valve, but it's there and it guards the entrance of the aorta. And here is the aorta. And remember I told you that the coronary arteries branch off of the aorta. Well, there's one little branch right there. So the aorta then goes up and forms an arch and then it comes down and the model cuts it off, but it continues down behind the heart. And I showed you in the circulation video that it goes down through the diaphragm and into the abdominal cavity. 
Now I wanna talk about the uh, wall of the heart. The very outside is a membrane called the visceral pericardium, right? And uh, in your model, you can't really see it. I mean, in your lab, but just know if I'm pointing to the very outermost layer of the heart here, that's what I'm pointing to. And I will say, on the test question, I'll say um, the outer layer of the heart or something like that, or the membrane. And then the uh, thickest layer of the heart is the myocardium. This is made of cardiac muscle tissue. Notice that the myocardium in the left ventricle is much thicker than that in the right ventricle. And that's because the right ventricle has to only pump blood into the pulmonary trunk and just a couple of inches, three inches, four inches to the lungs. Um, whereas the left ventricle has to pump blood to the tip of your head to, and then down to the tip of your toes. Um, so right now you could just stare at the model while I look at the list and make sure that I covered everything. So remember the two semilunar valves are the pulmonary valve and the aortic valve. Um, but again, the aortic valve isn't on your list in lab because you can't see it in that view. And then the bicuspid valve is the left atrioventricular valve, also known as the mitral valve. And then the right atrioventricular valve is known as the tricuspid valve. And I think I covered everything. So you're gonna call this middle layer of the heart the myocardium. It's just sort of a reminder. Okay, I'm done.